the gospel account that we have the second Sunday of Lent narrates to us the transfiguration of Jesus with Peter, James, and John Jesus led them up a high mountain to pray and it was during his prayer that Jesus was transfigured. When we pray, we do not change the mind of God. When we pray, we do not change God. When we pray, God changes us. Real encounter with God changes us. And the longer we stay in prayer, the more God will change us. And the change that God will give us will be expressed in different ways, communicated in different ways. And here, the change that was communicated to the disciples was a change of perspective. Seeing God beyond what the world sees. Maybe it's good to ask ourselves, when does a person's face shine? Kanus aba mo sidlak ang panagway sa tao? Pagkatapos magpaderma? Kinalan pa ba magpaderma ka ron? Bisag nanatay mask? I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, have attended weddings, right? Ordinations to the priesthood. And do you ever notice that during weddings, you see faces shine? During ordinations, when religious sisters profess their vows, their faces shine. Our faces shine when things are clear to us. If things are not clear to us, mangunot man ang atong agtang, it does not shine. And when is that clarity happening? Clarity only comes when the heart is able to make a definitive decision. Kanang makaingon ta nga nahilo na ragyod ang akong kasing-kasing. Nakapili na ang akong kasing-kasing. I know that this is difficult, 
but my heart has decided already. And no matter how difficult the future will be, I do not care. When there is clarity of mission, when we are able to come to terms with our priorities, our faces shine. And our faces shine when we are at our best. And history proves to us that the best in us comes out in times of difficulties, in times of trials, in times of testings. And this is what happened to Abraham in our first reading. He was promised by Yahweh, leave your place, you leave your home. And I will give you a vast descendants. As many as the stars in the sky, as many as the grains of sand. And the key to the realization of the dream was Isaac, the son given by God to Abraham's wife despite of old age. But one day, God asked Abraham to offer his son Isaac. In human logic, in human reasoning, that is foolishness. You gave me a son so that I will have descendants, but now you are asking me to kill him and offer him to you? But this test will be the shining moment of Abraham. That despite of all the irrationality of God's command, Abraham followed the Lord. And when he was about to kill his son as an offering to Yahweh, God sent an angel, a messenger, to tell Abraham, not to continue the offering. The shining moment of Abraham as a believer happened when he was able to surrender what he held so precious For God. What is great in Abraham is not to focus on the gift, Isaac, for the realization of the promise but to focus more on the giver of the gift. Because Abraham believed that if he has the giver, he will have all the gifts that he needs. 
And Abraham realized finally that what we give up for the Lord, we will never lose. We never lose anything when we give ourselves to God. The test is a moment, a shining moment for us because during the test, the heart is able to recognize and to make a decision which is of greater value. During the flood, I visited different evacuation centers. And I talked to one mother with all the family members. Some of them were still very young. And then he sa she said to me, Father, our bishop, we left our houses. And we do not know if it is still standing until now. But we left them. We left it. Because my family is more important than the house. Ang bahay o ang buhay ay mas mahalaga pa kaysa bahay. Test crisis is our shining moments. This is the shining moment of political leaders, of church leaders. This is the best time to be leaders. And the flood will help us let go of the things we hold dear in favor of something or someone that really matters to us. Saint Paul in his letter to the Romans said, if God is with us, who can be against us? If God is with us, nothing can separate us from the Lord. Even the floods, even the typhoon, even our rain cannot separate us from the love of God. As a matter of fact, our ring made us see in our eyes, before our eyes, how good the Lord is. How generous are the people of God is. With the flood, Generous people extended their help to us. This is also their shining moment. Our shining moment happens when we are able to give ourselves for those who are in need. Yesterday, I passed by a parish with a Catholic school to sign their request after asking permission from me. Bishop, 
Can we get something from our budget of the school for those people affected by the, by the typhoon in our parish? Nagingon ko sa iya, that's a very good decision. Bisag daghan ta utang. Bisag daghan ta loan nga wa pa nato mabayri sa ato mga Catholic schools. Share some of our resources. The typhoon, the calamity should hurt our budget so that we will be able to tell people that we care for them. As people outside the diocese extend their help and their generosity to us, we should also be willing to share what we have, our local resources, so that people will experience the compassion and the mercy of God. The three disciples were given the privilege to witness the transfiguration of Jesus. And biblical scholars tell us that the transfiguration was just a glimpse of a future glory that will happen to Jesus after the passion and his death during his resurrection. And they need that kind of experience, the glorious face of Jesus, to be witnessed by the three disciples. Because after that, they will be, ent they will be entering into Jerusalem, where their faith will be tested. We need to savor the shining moments of our lives to prepare us in times of desolation, in times of crisis. Any happy experience that we have in our lives should be savored by our hearts so that when desolation comes, we will have the strength to face the trials with faith and belief that we can make it through the grace of God. If you notice, when there is a building that is constructed, whether a church, a hotel, a parish church, Outside, na ay atong makita nga perspective of the building. We see the finished product of the project. Why is the perspective very important? So that, when we already run out of budget, we feel the difficulty in continuing the project, we look at the perspective again. We look at that dream. We look at the finished product and be consoled and inspired again to continue working together for the realization of the project, of the dream. This is the message of the transfiguration. Experience the consolation so that you will be prepared and ready and strong enough to face the crisis, the calamity which God allowed because this is our shining moment. Let us not waste this opportunity. Let us make our experience of our ring 
as a shining moment given to us by our God. Amen.